Oh, there's Bigfoot. Hey everyone, you're watching Sidestep Adventures. It's Robert. I'm out here with Brian, Cody, and our friend Don's tagging along with us today. We found something really cool, an old church, and it's just absolutely amazing. We're about to show it to you right now. I'm surprised at how much of that, that uh, grew. I never realized how hard it is. Man, this place is really cool. It's kind of, kind of almost has a creepy vibe to it. So we're in Alabama today, exploring some dirt roads and came across this and it's like absolutely got to film it. There's an old heater of some sort and broken what looks like stained glass on the ground there. So it looks like an older church. It's hard for me to exactly put a date on this one. Um, it's got what looks like maybe asbestos tile on the side, which is generally from the 1950s, but the bones of the church look much older than that. And we can see back here, we've talked about this in uh, videos before, the brick shingles on the side of the building. I think those date back to the 30s. I've always I've seen them on a lot of depression era houses. That's always neat to see. And then the wood of the church here is obviously made with round nails, so that puts it post-1880. And I would actually, seeing that and just from the rest of the church, I would guess it would be early 1900s or 1900, 1920s maybe construction. As you know, we always like to Take a look under the buildings. Well, there's some old bottles right there. One of them's broken. I'm gonna put the camera up there and let y'all look. noticed on the ground look at all these there's a uh, scuppernongs or muscadines not really sure which and there's a bunch of muscadine vines on the on the ground right here oh wow look at it from back here it's just a cool view of the church I think There's the stairs to the back entrance. We're not going to go in yet. I'm going to take a look around the church before we can go inside. But uh looks like it's pretty trashed inside from, from this angle. Take another look underneath the building. Right here. I don't see anything particularly exciting under there. Now um, there's a trash dump over here on this side. There's maybe the old baptismal pool right there. Just kidding. Just kidding. But yeah, someone's done some dumping over here. And not very old. This has a different kind of uh, shingle siding over here that's kind of interesting. Here we have another big new trash dump. There's people just coming out here dumping stuff. I always hate to see that. I tell you what, it's a hot day out here in Georgia. It sure is. Oh look, it's uh, 
Anakin Skywalker from Star Wars. <laughs> I'll set him up here. There we go. We'll leave him right there. Really cool building. I'm sure it was a beautiful little country church back when it was still in operation. It does still have kind of a kind of a creepy vibe. All right, well let's go in and explore it. You ready? Someone's boarded up the windows. Wow, it's trashed on the inside. But it still has all the pews. Look at the ceiling. You can see, hold on, let me look around the corner, make sure there ain't no squatches hiding in here. Uh, you can see the original roof up there under this somewhat modern tile roof. Look at the in the old windows. Looks like that was, well, some kind of stained glass. It's more like it was painted glass. But uh, this is unusual to find a church that's got all the pews still in it. Usually when they're abandoned, they're pretty well gutted. Of course, it looks like they were all just piled up. church kind of has a creepy vibe to it, I'm not going to lie, at least from the outside. On the inside, it's not so bad, just run down. See a ceiling fan that's fallen. Fallen from the roof. It's still got the pulpit intact. It's another thing that's you don't often see when a church gets abandoned. They usually take everything out of it. And that floor is gone right there. I mean, from the tile, those tiles on the roof doesn't look like it was, or it looks like it was used not that long ago, but uh, the rest of the church just looks like it's been abandoned for, for a long time. Let's look at some of these, some of these cards here. And cover up the name and phone number, although I think they're too old. But they might be still in service, so definitely want to give those people their privacy. I always want to look and see if I can find anything that'll give us a date. Just a an tithing envelope. And the old church fan. So pretty. bird nest well this place is definitely something else I see lots of animal feces right there it looks like a rat or something and this is where people would kneel and take communion Unfortunately, that one's been flipped up on its side. I, w I just, I wish I knew what the story of this church was. Why it was abandoned and uh, when it was abandoned. But 
and why everything was just kind of left. You can see the floor is gone right there too. But just a neat old place. What you think about it, Don? I think it's old. It's yeah. a cool place. Looks like somebody's done a little work on the roof. Yeah, it's got some modern shingles uh, oh, and modern yeah. tiles inside and maybe somebody was going to fix it up. Yeah. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing this church today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next adventure.